episode one of It Grinds My Gears. What grinds my gears is ever since Biden got elected, everything is so fucking expensive. I ended up going to get a tooth pulled, and with insurance, and I have expensive insurance, it's $300. How is it $300 to get a fucking tooth pulled? It's not a root canal surgery. I go into the um, furniture store the other day. I, I want a mattress. I mean, they're priced at $2,000 for a mattress set. I'm like, it's, they're like, well, uh, everything is uh, shortage. We're having shortages, you know, shortages on bed springs and shortages on this. And then, you know, I go into another store and I'm interested in something else. Oh, we're having shortages. And, oh, you know, gas prices are up. Well, why is that? Oh, there's shortages in gas prices. And, you know, I go to I book a hotel room in the shitty hotel room that I used to, I used to pay 50 bucks for a real nice hotel uh, a year ago over by the uh, the Sheridan Four Points, it was, it was called, over in um, Jacksonville, Florida. And that was like 50, 60 bucks a night. Now it's 170 a night during the week. And everything inexpensive, everything's expensive in Vegas and everything has gone up ever since fucking Biden went in office. Everything's going through the roof. And I'm thinking that what's going to happen eventually is uh, people aren't going to pay these ridiculous prices. People have been spending a lot, I think, because a lot of people are getting extra money from all the stimulus stuff. Not only just the stimulus checks, but living on unemployment. But that's going to stop in two weeks. And people are going to have to go back to work. And people are not going to be making the kind of money they were making, that extra $600 a week. So things are going to get back to normal. And people just are not going to spend these retarded prices on everything. And something's got to give. I don't think people are going to just give in to spending a shitload of money on stuff. I know I'm not. And if you're not going to, then things aren't going to sell. The economy's going to plummet. I mean, is Biden putting a shortage on everything? Is he putting a block on everything coming in from everywhere? I mean, I, I don't understand what's going on. If somebody knows why there's a shortage on everything all of a sudden prices and everything are going up all of a sudden ever since fucking Biden got into office that dumbass, explain it to me I mean the guy shouldn't even be in office because he got in there because of uh, you know, he broke the law basically to counterfeit votes and stuff to get in there and uh, so now that, uh, you know, the Democrats pulled all this shit to get Trump out of office everything's going to hell in a handbasket um, I mean, I, I've noticed it I've noticed the prices on everything are just retarded and uh, everyone's looking for people because nobody's working. But I said, like I said, what's going to happen is um, in September, uh, things are going to change because of the stimulus stuff's going to stop. And then I think things are going to go back to normal. And people just aren't going to pay these ridiculous prices on everything. And I don't know what's driving this. If anyone knows what's driving it, something's driving it. I don't know what, but... Uh, you're just living in a box if you haven't realized that the prices on everything have just shot up through the roof. And all I hear is shortages. Why all of a sudden are we having shortages? Something's going on that we don't know about. So if you know something I don't, which is very possible because I don't follow politics much, I don't watch CNN or any of that stuff because, well, I just, I, I, I know what's going on around me, but I don't watch that stuff just because why. You know, I think my mom gets all pissed off yelling at the TV, like, why? It's all negative. I mean, why do I want negativity for no reason in my life? So I just don't watch stuff like that. So anyway, give me your opinion. Grab my gears, volume one. Maybe I'll do this as a regular segment.